Houston, a lot of your fans were disappointed at what you said about the Federal Reserve audit that's suggested, right. which is getting a lot of traction in Congress. I think you saw that it is, it's pretty much a veto-proof majority now in Congress and with the new Senate we're likely to, likely to pass. Right. But you said who in their right mind would want Congress to control monetary policy? Uh, to which a lot of people say, look, here is the Constitution. Within the Constitution, Article One of the Constitution, right, Section 8, right. It says the, the Congress has that right. So what do you say about that? It's right in the, in the Constitution itself. You know, uh, one of Bismarck, the Iron Chancellor's famous conversations with, with his advisor, a man named Blockreiter. And Blockreiter said, you know, Mr. Chancellor, when you create the Rights Bank, if you, give them a, if you don't make them independent, they might become a political nuisance. Well, guess what happened? The Weimar Republic. What happened in the 1970s, early 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s in the United States? No one ever says Arthur Burns did what was politically convenient. We end up with superinflation that Paul Volcker had to step in and break his back. And we know what the answer is. This is because the people on Capitol Hill, lower house, upper house, for whatever reason, cannot do their own job. But here's here's the and problem. I, here's the problem. And I'm sorry we're short on time, so I got to jump in. Uh, Rand Paul and others would say, as we just talked about in the first segment, right. we are now in an extraordinary period where the Fed has more of a portfolio, portfolio than ever before, and we have to know specifically what's in there. I'm going to quote him now. He said, once upon a time, your dollar was as good as gold. Do you know what it's backed by now? He asked an audience in Iowa. Used car loans, bad home loans, distressed assets and derivatives. Now, he may be wrong about that being in your portfolio, the Federal Reserve, but we don't know if he's right or wrong because we haven't had a specific audit of the Fed. I know, we are, I'll be blunt. We are audited out the wazoo, okay? Every Federal Reserve Bank has a private auditor. We have our auditor's assistant. We have our own inspector general. We are audited. Because that's not what he's talking about. What he's talking about is politicizing monetary policy. And, and, and who else puts their balance sheet out on the net? No corporation in America does that. We do that. We put our income statement out on the net. The we are a porous, visible entity.